I don't know why I lied to you and said that. I don't know what I'm reacting to. I'm reacting to the Jake Paul song because... Mm, it's not as trash as people say it is, even though it's just... Can I get a... <laughs> encore? But hey. Let's just keep going. That's your B word. Yeah. And when you beat me up, that's okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. I heard this already. I heard it watching Dwayne and Jasmine, my favorite couple of YouTubers. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to do that. But I just have to say this about this entire song. It's not. Hold on. Got hair. I actually hate when somehow you get hair in your mouth and it's like no person around. Like it. It can't be your hair's too long. It's just weird. But that's not the point. Um. I do 100% believe that Jake's not winning the fight. Reason being is because I don't think Jake took it seriously enough to be able to prepare for this fight. I think he's going to be doing like anybody else in the world would do in a situation like this. And that's basically how KSI did in his first fight. And that's playing around a lot before trying to actually do a whole knockout. I can see Deji winning mostly because Deji... From what Videl said, that he's got more, like, more technique style. Like, he's a, that's great on Deji's part. That is excellent. I love that about Deji. If he can actually pull this off, which I, I'm full money on both teams, fully. Fully on Deji, fully on KSI, fully on Rocker Rocker also. Because that's the only, I think that's the only YouTubers I know that's fighting. Besides uh, Fofo. Fofo? I think that was his name. I wanted Fozy too. But. Hey. But who knows? But that don't matter. We'll just keep going with, with this anyway. And shoot, if Joe Weller want to fight, I'll take you on, Joe Weller. I don't mind. Okay, my problem with this song, to be real with everybody, it's not that because it's the the chorus is a ripoff from um, Encore. It's because he's playing, he's doing the whole frame thing. For the people that's never seen, I think I forgot the name of the YouTuber who did it, who was talking about who won in the mindset between KSI and Logan, who, who won, I guess, the mental war. The mental war, of course, goes to KSI. Logan lost because he got way too nervous at the press conference. Then, when they were face to face, you you could say he just had a lot of energy at the at the uh, face to face, but that was a lot of shaking and a lot of weird and kind of over emotion, like things that a person would do when you're nervous. So yes, I believe that Logan's gonna come in there nervous, like not ready for this. KSI has this in the back because we know he's just confident to the extreme, but I don't like how. Jake is trying to put himself in a light of um, him as the underdog. He's trying to put himself as the underdog now. He's not doing what he was doing before because what he was doing before was perfect. I did. I enjoyed him coming out talking about, yeah, both of you think that he's the B word. Both of you think that he's the B word. Yeah, it was, it was good. You played the crowd. Congratulations. That brain of yours. Now you're sitting here doing that. Bitch, I'm a fucking chappy. Uh. Bitch, I'm a fucking chappy. Uh. Grinding work, I do this shit for fun. I love when Keemstar kept doing it for like the entire drum alert. He just, <laughs> he's like, I feel like, it's like, why would you, why? But besides that, I would, I don't know if I want to react to the whole song because I already know what's going to happen next.
So, we're just going to change this up real quick instead of me listening to the whole song, which I don't want to listen to. Because, to be honest, I listened to it already and I didn't. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I'm not saying. Don't get me wrong, Paul Brothers. You both can, can throw out music. It's just. It's not the factor of it's being good or bad. It's just the factor of it's not the best. When you guys started doing music, I had no idea who you were. You guys, you wanted to throw out irrelevant or relevancy out there. Here's the problem with relevancy. A YouTuber can be big in a whole nother nation. Nobody in the United States may have not heard of this person. They may be the... Biggest in Britain, Australia, for Christ's sakes. I forgot the place I was thinking of, so we're just going to say United States because I forgot the other place I was thinking of. I was trying to go around instead of say United States to the, there. It could be big in just a small continent or just an island. Okay. But the problem that I had personally with this whole I guess feud or beef or whatever was that how I saw it all playing out after the first press conference the first thing I was thinking was Jake's about to hide on this just about to ride on this hype train he's gonna make video after video calling out Deji saying Deji's this Deji's that but he did it it was weird Very weird. He did it. Deji did it. Deji switched it all up by doing it. Deji was the one to continuously make videos on him. Talk trash about him. Did good at it too. People can say anything. Jake Paul was talking about his laugh. Honestly, you shouldn't say anything, Jake. Especially while a person's laugh. How many times have you, my friend, Jake Paul... Bef oh, wait, hold on, let me pop it there. Just think, just somehow, Jake Paul sees this and does a whole reaction to this. Let me throw out here, before you mention this kid, this kid is 20 years old. So, mm, so you can look through my old content if you want, but you probably may not see it. If for any Jake Pauler, Low Ganger, you know, Maverick, join the Maverick movement, y'all. For any of you guys that's gonna watch or possibly not gonna watch. All I can say is I'm not hating. I'm just simply saying what's true. Or if you don't want to say that, but I personally believe I still would fight Joe Weller just for the heck of it. It'll just be just one of those things that like a nobody gets a somebody. Christ's sakes, I would take on the winner of the Deji uh, and Jake Paul one just because. I would love to spar with Deji because that just seemed like a really entertaining thing I could do. Like, I really want to spar with him. Even though I know I just got off a track real quick, but yeah. Their music isn't the greatest. Personally, I only like two songs from each of them. Two? Two from each? I know I I like um that diss track that uh Logan did on Jake. I don't listen to it like that, but the only I think the only song I actually listen to like that is because of one is because of that line when he when he's doing that the uh, 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 yeah when when Logan's doing all that for uh, uh handlebars no handlebars. Besides that, um, uh, Jake. Uh, Randy Savage. Yeah, Randy Savage was kind of good. It was, Randy Savage was, was kind of good. I'm not going to lie. But Champion, I guess, it's a good song. Don't get me wrong. It's good, but it's not like a rice gum style. Like, it's going to... No, it's going to be one of those... KSI! Because how much one of the big KSI's thing really blew up? It Encore really blew up. Can I get a encore? This will have to say to really Jake Paul. This is really just for you, Jake. You may, like I said, you may not see this. This may be just me talking to absolutely no one. But, dear Jake Paul, 
you winning this fight is important. You may not think it is. You may just feel, oh, let me just get rid of this kid. You have to think about what you're in for. It's not simply people boxing just for simple money anymore. It's much bigger than this. YouTube favors YouTube. It favors Logan and Jake. It loves both of you. So, this is how I see it playing out. If you two lose, and I say both, I'm not saying just one. Because if one of you lose, yes, we all know that you're going to make up a reason to not vlog. You're going to make up a reason to not upload on your channel for at least a few days. I don't believe that Deji will lose. Neither do I believe that KSI will lose. Reason being is because it's not because of skin color. It's simply because of dedication. I really believe Deji got this. Everyone sees him as an underdog. I don't see him as an underdog, to be real with you. I see him as a guy that is determined to prove to everybody that it's not about size. Because if it's about size... Why is Mayweather boxing people? He's one of the shortest boxers. One. One of. I'm not saying he's the shortest. I'm not saying it. Because probably there's people shorter than him. And plus, like Fidel said, that head movement was the one thing I heard. Head movement and speed. That's the only two things I heard. Those two things are the key for the G twin. KSI, I expect you to strategize. I expect you to play with your with your own strategy. To play with Logan. Mess with Logan. Make him think you're doing one thing, but then you end it all. So, to you, Jake Paul, I would say this. After the boxing match, if you're down for it, I'll box you. Deji, I'll spar you. And to be real, I'll box Deji too, just because. That would be just because. Joe Weller, I don't know. Joe Weller would be like an iffy thing. KSI, yeah, I guess I could box KSI. Wouldn't mind it. It will be more of like one of those completely me trying to talk smack but can't talk smack. Logan, on the other hand, that would be different. Logan will be different because I would want to joke around with that a lot. But I know I'm getting way off subject, but I'm just simply saying this. From both my videos that I made today, both of them, what I have to say, and this is my ending. So the KSI one is going to go up first, then this one. Jake, get serious. This is not a game. You are stepping into a great war. Logan, you stepped into this. You have your Maverick movement. You got the little kids on your side. KSI is going to win this no matter what you do. Reason being is because your little audience is going to leave eventually. And when they do leave, like every other channel has already said, they're going to their channels. Why? Because right now they know that you're entertaining them as kids. But they get common sense, or some of them may actually stick with you. You're right. Some may be a maverick for life. Some may just go everywhere with this. So, what do I have to say? What's my closing statement? My closing statement is this. For the two fights that people are the most hype about, Deji, you got this. Jake, Take it serious. KSI. Don't play too much with the guy, please. Logan. Calm down. Calm down. Just therapy. I don't know something. Because if you get too nervous, you're going to be like Joella. I spit a little bit on that one. But you're going to be like Joella. You can release a video. Oh, I spar with Joe, guys. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you, Logan, need to get the nerves out. You're getting nervous. I know you are. We all know you are. 
I'm pretty sure some of your little mavericks know you are. Or, oh, I'm sorry, you know, they're not mavericks, they're little gangsters. Low gang, the low gang. Mr. J is a. Yeah, whatever. Go taste a dead rat. Something about a forest. Have fun. <sighs> I'm gonna do another video on this later on. I'm gonna do another video on this later on. Another video on this later on. Well, not exactly on this, it'll be more on the fight. But for now, that's it. Uh, yeah, do what you will. You can clip this, do whatever. I don't care until I can get a, until I get that big blow up that I know I'm gonna get sooner or later. My channel finally blows up. I'm just gonna do videos like this and no edits. I'm gonna do edits later on when I actually start having a reason to edit. Right now I don't. I'm just doing little videos that are just you know entertaining one take. Yeah.